Thanks, Glenn. Mm -hmm. Well, St. Louis native is lending her voice to a good cause. Marlissa Hudson made her professional debut as an opera singer while a student performing the song Summertime from Porgy and Bess under the baton of Marvin Hamlish. And she is, of course, joining us this midday. Good morning. Thanks. Good morning. Good morning. Now, you are going to be singing at the 90th Annual Urban League uh, Dinner. Can you talk about that? Yes, it's a really exciting opportunity. Obviously, it's a dinner they have every year. And they actually found out about me from another performance I did at UMSL, their Martin Luther King performance. So I was contacted and more than excited to join them and help out for a really worthy cause. Now, I'm going to embarrass you for a second. <laughs> Marlissa a has the goods here. She went to undergrad at Duke University. Yes, that's correct. Graduate work at the Peabody School. Uh, correct again. Yeah, two of the top schools in the country. A lot of people would think, okay, opera, if you want a career in opera, you got to go to New York. Right. You decided to come back to St. Louis. Why is that? Well, you know, I really wanted the what I consider to be a really good balance between family and career. I have a four-year-old son whose name is Hudson Eaton, mm -hmm. and I remember growing up in St. Louis and loving every minute of it. So I thought um, between the changes that have taken place since I left and the fact that I do have family here, and it's a very family-oriented city, mm -hmm. I couldn't think of a better place to go. Right on. Why did you decide to become an opera singer? You know, it's funny. I think it's something I ran from for a good portion of my life. You know, I wanted to do the straight thing, no student loans, mm -hmm. um, big career. But um, when music is really something you're meant to do, I think it chooses you. Mm -hmm. And the more I ran, the more it found me. So I decided to stop running for once and go with it. Because <laughs> you were thinking originally economics or getting your MBA. Right, right but precisely. singing was really what your heart said, I guess. Definitely. I mean, my freshman year, I was really sort of sad for the first time that I could recall for an extended period of time. And I realized it's because I'd stopped singing. Mm -hmm. And that was when it started, and I kind of never stopped. Hmm. Now, for those who don't know, are there many African-American opera singers? Um, I'd have to say no. <laughs> uh, you know, I don't have exact percentages, but I think it's something that a lot of people are working hard and to improve. Particularly, Opera Theater of St. Louis has an artisan training program, and I'm actually helping with the AIT prep program um, this semester under Allison Felter. And what they're doing is taking kids from certain city schools and giving them training so that they'll be more competitive when they audition for the actual AIT or artist in training program. It's all about the audition, isn't it? Definitely. Yeah. It's a one-time deal. Can you, um, I know you're, you're working here, here and there with opera in St. Louis. Can you make a full-time career of opera in St. Louis? I do think so. Yeah. I mean, you would obviously have to mix it with opera and concert work, uh -huh. but St. Louis has a ton of different wonderful organizations that you can perform with. I mean, St. Louis Symphony Orchestra obviously being one of them, mm -hmm. but in Unison Chorus, which is affiliated with the Symphony Orchestra being another, but there are tons. And I'm hoping to work with them, you know, as the time comes. Town and Country Symphony Orchestra, I actually just found out I'll be working with them next year, so that's something I'm really excited about. We have to ask you, where'd you go to high school? You're from St. Oh, Louis. I know. I knew it was coming. <laughs> <laughs> I went to John Burroughs. Okay. All right. Now, what do you aspire to do? What's the goal? Well, you know, initially, I'd really like to get out there and perform full time. Um, eventually, I'd like to really head up some performing arts organizations, specifically those that help those who are underserved or mm -hmm. disadvantaged. Mm -hmm. I know music made a big difference for me in terms of my own discipline and my drive. And I think you could do the same for a lot of youth who don't necessarily have the money for private lessons mm -hmm. or someone to even push them to go that route. That's excellent. Hey. Well, listen, we want to let you know about Marlissa's two upcoming events. One's tomorrow and one is on Monday. And we're going to put all that information on our website, myfoxstl.com. So if you want to go, you can go and hear her sing. We can't let her go without singing just something <laughs> into the break for us. Will you give us a little something? Mm -hmm. Sure. Would you like part of summertime? Yes. Of course. Sure. Yeah. So Exposing security lapses. It feels kind of eerie. Revealing risks to your family.